We ready to have some fun tonight? I think we're going to. We've got two great products on tap. Obsidian Football, Absolute Basketball, both by the full case. As we tend to do, we are going to go over some information here before we get started tonight. Well, we're already started, but before we get started ripping into things, I'll be more specific. All right, so we are first going to take a little look at um, our public service announcements, if you will. <laughs> so the first thing you need to know is that my feedback is automated on eBay, and I have done that so that you do not ever have to wait on me. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get the same in return. More importantly, thank you for being here. Always happy to have you join me, bidding and breaking and chatting, keeping me company. We're going to take a look next at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night is an off night. Thursday night will be a half case of Bowman Draft Jumbo Baseball. That is the start of a new case. On Friday night, we will once again start early, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. And we're going to open Don Russ Basketball in a four-box break. And those are loose boxes from a shared case. There's still like 1,200 cards in there. Um, I'm experimenting a little bit because sometimes I don't ship the base. We do those in half case or full case quantities, but the base ships out separately. And some of you have expressed an interest in having all of the base. So this is our this is how we're gonna split it up as a result. On Saturday night, a half case of Leaf Autograph football jerseys and an eight box inner case of playbook football. Sunday night will be another off night. They flexed my Steelers into Sunday night football, so you know I gotta watch that. Here's what you need to know for tonight. Obsidian football is first, absolute basketball is the second break of the night. They are both paid shipping breaks. I am expecting that both will ship out the door probably Saturday. And if I can get one or both of them out faster than that, of course, I will happily do so. If something entirely unexpected were to happen, it could slide uh, a day later, which would be Monday as far as the post office is concerned. But I'm hopeful that it will be out the door Saturday. If you get skunked and either break tonight, meaning you don't hit a card of any sort, base or otherwise, your consolation card or cards will ship out when the rest of the break goes because they are paid shipping breaks. And we are going to have um, a team available tonight in Absolute Basketball, and that's going to be the Dallas Mavericks if anybody wants it. That's another one of those deals where somebody bid and then sent a message saying, oh, they don't actually have the money to pay for it. So that will be available when we get to Absolute Basketball, or now, if anybody's interested. So first up tonight is going to be a 12-box case of 2019 Obsidian Football. This is a full case break. It is break number two. Everything that we are opening tonight ended tonight, Tuesday night, the 10th of December. And, of course, team names there on the left-hand side. Our winning bidder eBay user ID across from each team on the opposite side. Everybody's all paid up in Obsidian. Thank you very much. And actually, everybody's paid up in Absolute except for uh, the Mavericks. Yeah, the guy who, you know didn't have the money so there you go Brandon is here and Greg and Richard hi you're right Richard it has been a while since I have seen you Stang lover I don't know how much origins I'm getting I suspect it's not a lot but I have I, I don't even think I've seen my <clears throat> allocation numbers for that or if I have I don't remember them I probably have gotten them somewhere and I just don't remember but I'm sure it is one that I will not have a massive amount of because anytime there's a hot product like that, you just don't get it in massive amounts. Not unless you spend probably four or five times what I spend. You know, you'd have to you'd have to have people spending in the multi millions of dollars to get multiple cases of that, I suspect. But you know, there are some people probably that are spending in the multiple millions, I don't know. But it is not me. I am not that high of a roller. I do spend a lot, but I don't spend uh, multiple millions. So we'll probably have a few cases, but I would not think it would be very much. So I don't know. And yeah, there are less hits in it, Stang Lover, but there are always less hits in the basketball versions of things than there are in the football versions. There are just less available bodies to sign. So the hits are always lower in basketball, unfortunately. So this is a one pack per box kind of deal. 
So I'm going to go through here and get all of our packs out first. Nicholas is here. Hi, Nicholas. You need the lions. All right. We'll work on the lions for you. We'll add that to the mojo request. And Austin wants the Seahawks in there for a little mojo too. So we've got to work on those Seahawks as well. Generally speaking, Seahawks come out of these products, 2019 products, fairly often. So I would imagine, I would hope, we'll find you something good in there anyway. Charles, you need the bears in here. All right, brother, we'll work on the bears for you. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, Zach, if you want the Mavericks, um, all you have to do is let me know in chat. I have to look and see what that bid amount was. If you hang tight, I can do that real quickly. I don't know. Of course, the person also, um, you know, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but they definitely don't intend to pay for it. Let's see. The last bid amount looks like it was like $43.99 or $98. I can't read. Anyway, basically $44. You would not have to pay shipping if you pick it up in chat. So um, if you want to get it that way, you can. And that'll be the deal. Just the $44 by way of PayPal, no shipping charges, etc. So let me know, Zach, if you want that or not. Brandon, you said you haven't seen many Texans obsidian pools. You know, I haven't opened a ton of this. I've got quite a bit more of it around here, but we haven't yet opened a lot of it. There's so much stuff that came out. I really don't remember what all I saw sorted in there. Hi, Kevin. And uh, Nicholas says Origins football was only two autographs, same as basketball. Yeah, if it was only two. For some reason, I thought, I guess the third hit in there was Relic, wasn't it, in football? I guess that's right. It was an autograph, an autograph relic, and then just a plain relic. Is that what we did this year? Or was that last year's configuration? I don't know. I can't remember. Hi, Alex. All right, Zach, you do want to pick them up? All right, I'm going to do a couple of things here for you, Zach. One of them is to give you my PayPal email address, which is what I'm getting ready to type in here right now. And guys, this is like an OG email, okay? I do not check it for correspondence. And um, yeah, I don't ever. <laughs> so if you need to reach me, eBay messages is the way to go, okay? Don't send me a message there. It'll go into the black hole and I will never see it. But Zach, if uh, Zach, there is no way for me to bill you on eBay, unfortunately. Uh, there is no way for me to do that since it wouldn't be an eBay auction. Because again, the person who had it is not uh, able to pay for it tonight. So that's why it is available, but there isn't a way for me to do it there. So Zach, if that means you do not want it, just let me know. We'll offer it back up again. Because otherwise, the way you would do it is just go into PayPal and, you know, you send money. And then you would send it to that email address and just make a note of what it was for. Or honestly, you don't even have to make a note. I would know, but... If you wanted to, you could. If you don't, you don't have to. But just uh, let me know. And what is going on right there? How did I get off of my own channel? My God. <laughs> There's something funky going on with YouTube tonight. Like, I look over there and all of a sudden, I'm off of chat and it's like playing some whole other channel. That is so super fly weird. I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's see what we've got in obsidian Zach you do still want them all right excellent then uh, what I'm gonna do and it, well we'll just wait and do it after obsidian I, I've got to go in and cancel it out on eBay and then I'll update the spreadsheet but we'll go ahead and look at obsidian first and then I'll do that so we're gonna have some base cards in here and some of them will be numbered parallels they won't all be I forgot to change up our focus didn't I I do that every time. Every time we have like unpaid team stuff, it seems like I forget to change up the focus. Let's see if that makes it a little, a little easier to see. Ah, yes, much better. That is numbered to 50. It is Paris Campbell for the Colts. 
Stang Lover. They did sell first off the line Origins today. It sold out in about 90 seconds. And I never could get anything besides, I mean, I was on the second it went live and I could never get anything except try again. Our website's busy kind of deal or app. I was in the app. That is numbered to 75 miles Garrett for the Browns. And this is our straight up base for the Cowboys. All of the base that doesn't have an, <clears throat> excuse me, another color in the background like we saw in the first two will be numbered to 125. So basically everything in here is numbered. Greg says things are buffering. So uh, someone said that last night too. So I don't know if we've got a YouTube issue or what is going on with that. I did look last night at my internet when you guys said buffering and it wasn't showing an internet issue. <coughs> so I don't know what to say about that. That is to 100. It is Deontay Johnson and the Steelers. Hopefully, whatever it is will get itself resolved. YouTube does occasionally go a little funky on me. This is Bryce Love. It is numbered to 25 for the Washington Redskins. Then we've got Devin White. That's numbered to 150 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And then the Bengals and Ryan Finley is numbered to 25. Charles said that he's got some buffering going on on his side too. So I don't know, guys, again, if that's a YouTube issue or what. I'm looking right now at my Wi-Fi signal strength and everything is showing happy and good on my side. So I don't quite know why it is doing that, unfortunately. Von Miller, numbered to 75 for the Denver Broncos. And then we have a die cut, J.J. Watt and the Texans. That's numbered to five. Nice low number one for the Texans. You guys uh, said there's not a lot in here for Houston, so at least the one we pulled is low. That's the good news. To 125, there's Christian McCaffrey for the Carolina Panthers. Here come the Denver Broncos. That is numbered to 75, and it is Noah Fant. Then for the Kansas City Chiefs, it's Darwin Thompson. Darwin is numbered to 150. And the Jets with Don Maynard. And that one is numbered to 50. That's a little throwback ink for you right there. Will Greer comes up next. Will Greer is numbered to 150, and that is the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, Nicholas, you said you've had some buffering, too, on your side. I don't know, guys, again, if that's just YouTube or what, since I'm not having issues. Um, it's showing my Wi-Fi signal strength is good. And like I streamed video all day today in the background while I was sorting and I didn't have any buffering on anything I was streaming on my tablet. So I don't really think it's my Wi-Fi, but that would mean the only other thing it could be is uh, some kind of YouTube interface issue. So we don't have a break tomorrow night. I'll try and look into it further. Numbered to 51 Thornhill and the Kansas City Chiefs. Devontae Adams and the Green Bay Packers, numbered to 75. The Baltimore Ravens, that is Jalen Ferguson with a standard base, numbered to 125. Mr. Marcus Mariota to 75 for the Tennessee Titans with an Atomic Card Series relic. Number to 50, here come your Lions. You have got a little uh, Travis Fulham to 50. Jalen Smith numbered to 25 for the Dallas Cowboys. The boys are in the house. Irv Smith Jr. 150 Vikings relic and ink. My favorite kind. Yeah, Stanglover, I don't know. He says the audio isn't lagging, but the video is lagging. That's super strange. I don't know. I'll have to try to... I don't even know if there's anybody at YouTube I can reach, but the people at my broadcast software who built that, 
do have um, like help I can contact through chat. That's numbered to 50, Carson Wentz and the Eagles. So I could try maybe and reach out to them tomorrow and see if they're aware of any YouTube interface issues or if there's something I need to update or change or do, although usually it notifies me, to 75, James Connor with a die cut. For the Steelers and a 125, there's Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans. Kenson, you said any Niner, you got a boss, wait a minute. You got a, a Bosa dual RPA to 19 that you're trying to sell. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so you're looking. You want to know if there's anybody who personally collects the 49ers in chat tonight. I got you. To 50, it is Mike Williams and the Chargers with a relic. And next up is Trayvon Williams. That's the Bengals numbered to 25. And here come the Bears. Number to 50, you've got a Tariq Cohen autograph. Miko Hardman Jr. He looks a little better every week, doesn't he? Kansas City Chiefs to 150. I think that kid's been playing pretty well, personally. Stang Lover, you're reminding me that you need Rams, Chargers, and Colts. All right. I will keep I will keep the mojo flowing there. Try to. Jared Goff to 75 for the Rams. A die cut Carson Wentz on the tunnel vision insert. It is numbered to 35 for the Eagles. And a base here for Mr. Drew Brees and the Saints to 125. Here comes another Nicole Hardman Jr., likely a relic based on where it is. And indeed, it is a relic, numbered to 100, Kansas City. And right behind that, another Kansas City hit, Pat Mahomes, with a die-cut relic, and it is numbered to 100. Ah, oh, this will make the Raiders happy. Your rookie running back, Josh Jacobs, to 100. Guys looked really good this year, too. Denzel Ward to 100 for the Cleveland Browns with a little ink and relic. Tell you, I've been so disappointed in the Browns this year. I really thought they were going to be pretty good. They have the talent. I still say it's Freddie Kitchens. I mean, he was my one worry at the start of the season. He remains my one worry. I think they need to replace him. I'm just saying. Vaughn Miller to 50. For the Broncos. I just don't know that you can put a guy with no head coaching experience in that job with that young quarterback and that young team and expect him to thrive in that particular environment. This number to 35, a die cut Baker Mayfield for the Browns. I'm talking about kitchens. Um, Rodney Anderson to 125, our base for the Bengals. Here comes a Seahawk, DK Metcalf, and it is numbered to 25. A nice looking patch there for Seattle. And the Jets have Austin numbered to 150. <laughs> what about Le'Veon Bell? <laughs> Couldn't play, you know, right? Had the flu. They ruled him out and told him, stay away because you're sick. We don't want you getting everybody else sick. But so then instead of like staying home and resting, dude goes to the bowling alley with all of his friends and then makes sure it's public. TJ Hawkinson to 25 for the Lions. It's like, <laughs> what a bad look, man. If you're the Jets, you got to be pissed about that. Number to 150, it's Paris Campbell for the Indianapolis Colts. Ah, we got one that made Charles happy. I don't know which one it was, but something made something was a good one for Charles. So good. Congratulations on that. Oh, and Jeff's here. Hi, Jeff. You are welcome for the Josh Jacobs. I'm glad we were able to hit that for you. Miles Garrett and the Browns. That one is numbered to 10. A couple of low numbered Browns have come out here recently. Numbered to 50, there's a die cut tunnel vision Tampa Bay Buccaneers for Jameis Winston. 
Number to 125, there is Melvin Gordon and the Chargers. Noah Fant, number to 10 for the Denver Broncos, which it's kind of cool in the sense that I think it's probably part of a, of a number, but I wish we had less white and more other colors, but then maybe you wouldn't know it was from a number, I guess. Arizona Cardinals have Byron Murphy, number to 150. Irv Smith Jr. coming out again for the Vikings. No relic on that one, but still a bookend of his signature. And I think this gives you a bookend Paris Campbell, too. It's numbered to 75 for the Indianapolis Colts. Ah, Nicholas, you like that TJ Hawkinson. Yeah, that's your Lions. Your Lions making an appearance. I knew that'd make you happy. Joe Namath, hey, hey, I like that plan, numbered to seven for the Jets. Gotta like a little Joe Namath in there, especially that low numbered. Next is James Conner and the Pittsburgh Steelers. It is numbered to ten with a die cut. And numbered to 125, it's Philip Rivers. For the Chargers, Joe Theismann is out for the Washington Redskins, numbered to 100. And then the Redskins are going to hit your rookie quarterback, Dwayne Haskins, right behind it. And that's numbered to 100 with a trio of relics. Carolina Panthers get involved with Brian Burns. Brian is numbered 250 and the Giants and your little rookie QB Daniel Jones numbered to 100 of course he's got that high ankle sprain he was out this week and so Eli got another start uh, I'm guessing probably possibly I guess his last start there for the Giants on their home turf of course you never know stranger things have happened but but that's what I think anyway yeah, the white one was, is a case hit. I should have said that. I didn't say that, probably. Sorry. Um, I've been distracted, frankly, kind of trying to watch. I've been watching my Wi-Fi signal, trying to see if I can tell if it's varying any. Numbered to 25, that's Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers. Followed by Ray Lewis, numbered to 75 for the Baltimore Ravens. Did I say it was to seven? I don't know if I did or not, but if I didn't, it is. The case hit the white one, the Namath for the Jets, was numbered to seven if I did not say that. Then you have Julian Love, base card, numbered to 125. Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills, numbered to 10. And that's a pretty good looking relic. Bengals are up again. That's still 150. There's Rodney Anderson. Jay Allen's here. How are you, Jay Allen? He was doing a good deed tonight, driving a family member to work. So that is a redemption. It's going to sit right there face down. We're going to flip it at the very end of the break, find out who's on the other side. Number to 150, Andy, Isabella, and the Cardinals. The Chargers and Easton Stick, numbered to 25. Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals die cut, numbered to 35. To 125, a Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills. Miles Sanders for the Eagles, numbered to 100. The Bears have David Montgomery, numbered 250 for Chicago, with a big relic. Vikings with a Dalvin Cook autograph this time. It is numbered to 10. And a second redemption. I thought maybe we were going to get through this case with none. And then right at the end. 
right oh and then there's another one yeah so definitely right at the end we got so close didn't we so close it's always the way Gardner Minshew numbered to 75 for the Jags a die cut for the Bears of Khalil Mack numbered to 25 to 125 you've got Dak Prescott for the boys JJ Arcega Whiteside for the Eagles numbered to 100 trio of relics Bears have Riley Ridley here numbered to 25 relic finally the Steelers get Devin Bush I like Devin Bush number to 150 you know being a Steelers fan you know I'm gonna love defense right I love our defensive players especially the really good ones Stang lover, you have all the parallels for the Chargers now. <laughs> you got a good little wallpaper collection going of those. Demarcus Lawrence to 25 Cowboys. Tunnel Vision die cut. Andy Dalton for the Bengals, numbered to 50. The Jets and Le'Veon Bell to 125. Yeah, everybody's making fun of the Patriots for videotaping the Bengals. They're like, oh, yeah, you know you're in trouble if you got to videotape the Bengals to prepare for your game. <laughs> to 100, that's Marlon Mack and the Colts. Of course, the Patriots are like, oh, well, you know, we didn't mean to or, you know, whatever. <laughs> Baker Mayfield to 50 for the Browns. Let's just say it's not the first time the Patriots might have been involved in something like that. Chase Venovich, number two, 150. Speaking of the Patriots, and fittingly, we close it out with a fourth redemption. So here's what's going to happen next. Um, we're going to flip over these redemptions. Then we will go to the Panini website where we'll verify the team, find out what, if anything, they are numbered to. After that, we will do a quick little recap through our Obsidian cards. When we finish that recap, we will bust right on into Absolute Basketball. So before I flip these over, though, while I'm thinking about it real quickly here, I need to go in and cancel uh, this order on eBay. So give me one second, guys. I don't want to forget to do that for the Mavericks, okay? So give me one hot second here. So that we can just get that done. Although, how do I even... Okay, that's how we're going to do it. Sorry, talking to myself while I do it. <laughs> you know, some of them I can just go in and cancel. Some of them I have to go through a whole little uh, song and dance. So, that time was a, a little song and dance. But I think we've got it under control now. And we are ready to take a look at some redemptions. I will still have to update the spreadsheet, though, to plug in who purchased that team. First around is Drew Locke, rookie jersey, Inc. for the Broncos. Yes, Zach, for sure. I've got to. That's what I was saying. I've got to go in and update the spreadsheet to put your name in there. I just wanted to get it canceled on eBay first to make sure I had that part done. David Montgomery, Rookie Jersey, Inc., Electric Etch Green. David Montgomery and the Bears. A.J. Brown, Tennessee Titans, Rookie Autographs, Electric Etch Green. Orange, and one left to go. Who's it going to be? What do you all think? It is another David Montgomery, Rookie Jersey, Inc. So the Bears end up getting a pair of Montgomerys out of the Redemptions. All right, I am going to update the spreadsheet real quickly here to put Zach in there so that I can know what's going on with that. So hang on a second, guys. All right, so that's got 
that much done. Yay, yay, yay. We're getting ready to go over there, I promise. I promise, I promise we are. Uh, and we're going there right now. I just wanted to get those little bits and pieces done for Absolute, which is coming up here in a second. All right, football, Obsidian. Yeah, I knew we would hit Redemptions. <laughs> so it was pretty well ready to go. Rookie Jersey Inc. is what we're going to take a look at first here. Because there are two cards that fall into that category. We've got card number four, Drew Locke, which is going to be the Broncos. And there you see it, Broncos and numbered to 150. And then card number 12 should be David Montgomery. And there he is, and of course says Bears, and also numbered to 150. Next, we're going to go look up Rookie Jersey, Inc., Electric Etch Green. Rookie Jersey, Inc., Electric Etch Green. Yeah, card number 12 again, David Montgomery. Uh, bears again, but this one numbered to 50. Now we've got to go look up Rookie Rookie Autos Electric Etch Orange. All right, Rookie Autos Electric Etch Orange. There we go. Card number 23 is who we're looking for. There is A.J. Brown, Titans as we expected it to be, and numbered to 75. All right, we are all happily verified and ready to recap. Okay, so you've got the Bears and David Montgomery to 150, the Bears and David Montgomery to 50, the Broncos and Drew Locke to 150, A.J. Brown, Tennessee Titans to 75. Then our little white parallel here, which comes out one per case in general, that is number to seven for the Jets. You have the Patriots with Vinovich, um, the Browns and Baker Mayfield, Marlon Mack for the Colts, Devin Bush and the Steelers. There's Riley Ridley for the Bears, Arcega Whiteside Eagles, Dalvin Cook for the Vikings. The Bears and David Montgomery, that is the Eagles and Miles Sanders, Andy Isabella for the Arizona Cardinals. Next up, the Bengals and Rodney Anderson, the Bills and Josh Allen, the Giants and Daniel Johnson, Panthers with Brian Burns, Dwayne Haskins for the Redskins, Joe Theismann for the Redskins. Paris Campbell for the Colts, Irv Smith Jr. Vikings, Byron Murphy Cardinals. The Broncos and Noah Fant, Paris Campbell again for the Colts. There's TJ Hawkinson, Lions. Uh, there is Blesswan Austin for the Jets. DK Metcalf, Seahawks, Denzel Ward, Cleveland Browns. Your rookie running back for the Raiders, Josh Jacobs, Pat Mahomes for the Chiefs, Miko Hardman Jr., Chiefs, Miko Hardman Jr., Chiefs, Tariq Cohen for the Bears, Trayvon Williams, Bengals, the Chargers, and Mike Williams, Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings, Jalen Smith for the Cowboys, and Travis Fulham, another one for the Lions. Marcus Mariota for the Titans, Will Greer and the Panthers, Don Maynard, we don't see much of him, old school ink for the Jets. There's Darwin Thompson, Kansas City Chiefs, you've got Noah Fant for the Broncos, Ryan Finley, Bengals, Devin White, Buccaneers, Bryce Love, Redskins, and Deontay Johnson for the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right. Obsidian wrapped up in the books. Now, let's get our absolute on. Yes, indeed. Absolute basketball time. I tell you what, I'm going to get this uh, set up over here in, um, what do you call it, on the Panini website for basketball because, you know, we're probably going to hit redemptions in there too so yeah let's get that out of the way <laughs> just get it done and uh be ready for it 
Okay, if you missed it earlier, this is what you need to know. Obsidian and Absolute, I'm hoping to have both out the door hopefully Saturday. And if I can get something done sooner than that, I will gladly do so if something takes longer than I expect or something throws a wrench into my week. Could always slide to Monday, but I hope that I will have it to you on Saturday. If you got skunked in Obsidian or get skunked in Absolute, by skunked I mean you do not pull a card of any sort, base or otherwise. You will still get Consolation card or cards in the mail. They will ship out when the rest of the break goes out because it is a paid shipping break. It is a 10 box case of 2019 Absolute Basketball. This is break number two. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, which is Tuesday night, the 10th of December. Team names on the left, winning bidders on the right. And thank you, Zach, once again for picking up the Mavericks, our orphan unpaid team in here. Appreciate you uh, bailing us out and picking that up. And everybody else, of course, is exactly as you would expect if you want it, you're on there. All right, let's get back over to here. Um, what are you asking about, Brandon? What are you saying about JJ Watt? What are you What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I am confused. Oh, are you asking why I didn't recap the base? Oh, yeah, I don't recap the base cards, um, even the numbered ones like that, just because everything in Obsidian is numbered. Even even the regular base in, in Obsidian is numbered, so I don't recap that, that stuff in that product. I only recap the autographs and the relics, but of course, yeah, I mean, everything, if you saw it, you're, you're going to get it if you have that team for sure. I just don't recap it, other than the case hit, case hit relics autographs, because otherwise it would be, I mean, more or less like doing the entire break over since every card is numbered in there, so I don't know, that's just how we roll with it, that's all. So absolute basketball, it will take us as long to get all the stuff out of the package as it does to actually look at the stuff. Because there's not a ton of cards in these boxes, but they sure do make you work to get them. So we end up with um, mini boxes. This is how this rolls. There are two mini boxes per master box. We are going to get all of the mini boxes extracted first. Well, come out of there, please. And then we'll start looking at them, but not until I get all the mini boxes out. That's just the way I like to do it. We might even just take all the packs out of the mini boxes. I don't know. We'll see how much more I feel like I can delay my own gratification after we get this part done. <laughs> but you know, there's only so far I can go and then I'm like, forget this, I'm ready to look at some cards. So I feel your pain on that one. So we should find in here, hopefully, um, a redemption for a glass card. Those are case hits. Every once in a while, you might find one that doesn't have one, but it usually is in there. And every once in a while, you find a case that has two in there, which is what we found in our first case of this that we opened. We had two glass card redemptions in there. Course, I think usually when you get more than you are expecting that somewhere along the way some case probably got less than it was expecting that always makes me nervous Aaron you need the pistons and the magic all right let's work on pistons and magic for you Jay Allen needs the jazz and the kings Chris wants the glass Giannis in particular. You're looking for the Greek freak. All right. We'll see if we can find you the glass redemption for the Greek freak. That'd be nice. Ooh, Stang Lover Maryland lost. 125 left, and Louisville's down by 10. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, you know Louisville is my in-state rival, right? And um, so... I do not have as much animosity towards Louisville as I did when Rick Patino was coaching them. Like, I did not ever want them to win a game ever when Patino was coaching. Now I actually kind of like their current coach, 
and um, I don't mind for the most part when they do well, except when they're playing us, but I don't mind one little bit if they lose tonight. <laughs> We've got them coming up before too long, so I'm kind of okay if they don't have a tremendous, you know, whatever amount of confidence or something. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is that bad? I know it's bad. But that's what rivalries are all about. That's the whole point of rivalries. You're not supposed to want the other people to do well, are you? I don't think you are. I think that's what makes it a rivalry. All right, kids. i got to think about how this is configured. We've got numbered base maybe on the bottom of each of our packs. Let's see. We haven't opened this since it came out, I don't think. So it takes me a minute to get back into the flow. That's all. All right. So to 199, you've got a base card there for Nola with Nikhil Alexander Walker. We've got a numbered base over here that's a one of one right off the bat. A one of one Portland Trailblazers CJ McCullum comes out... Uh, Right, right early, right early on in the break. That's good English. Right early on, um, a very early <laughs> in the break, we have a one of one. This is just straight up base. I won't flip those every time, but because this is our first box, I am doing so to show you um, just that they aren't numbered when they look like that. Those are just standard base. There is one other thing I need to point out. We're going to find lots of cards that are like this. You'll see he's in a Timberwolves uniform, but the card says Pistons. There's some little tiny writing that tells you when he was traded to the Pistons, and then of course Pistons noted on the back as well. I point that out to you so you understand that it's going to go to the team shown on the card, which does not always match up with the uniform you see in the picture. So FYI, that's the deal. Cody Martin and the Charlotte Hornets have a relic. The Portland Trailblazers, Nasir Little, with an autograph and a relic pairing, numbered to 199. Here come the Hawks with Bruno Fernando. Woohoo, that's nice. That is numbered to 10. That would uh, be the hat relic, of course, off of a New Era hat. That's the New Era logo. I kind of like that. I don't know why that's so high numbered. I think that'd be lower, wouldn't you? David Thompson and the Denver Nuggets with some throwback ink there for Denver, number 225. Jay Allen says, I never want them to win. Listen, no, when Patino was there, I didn't ever, ever, ever want them to win. Ever. But now that he's gone, I really don't feel that same... A uh, level of animosity towards them. I actually was kind of glad that they were doing as well as they were considering their circumstances. I mean, they're a program that's facing some NCAA sanctions and kind of left in a little bit of a shambles, frankly. But I like their new coach. And I think those kids who are not your typical blue chip recruits, it's certainly not all of them, not many of them, and they're just showing up and playing good basketball. So I respect that. I do, even though they are our rivals. Now, if it had still been Patino, I would still say, no, they need to lose. To 199, <laughs> Admiral Schofield and the Wizards. But now, no, I'm okay with them winning. To 99, the Magic and Vucevic. Although, if they win shortly before they have to play us, maybe that's not great. Poor Zingas and... The Mavericks, another base here, Boogie Cousins for the Lakers. There's Jokic for the Nuggets. And then we have the Detroit Pistons with a little D-Rose base cards rolling our way. Except I just stacked that right in the wrong spot, didn't I? Guess you can't stack it right in the wrong spot, can you? Stacked it in exactly the wrong spot, I mean to say. Then we have Karis Levert, Brooklyn Nets, Relic, Boston Celtics with Romeo Langford. That is a really thick card. It is numbered to 25. You've got uh, what appears to be a hat relic, a basketball relic, and part of a uniform relic. 
So Romeo Langford and the Celtics with a nice trio to 25. Kobe, baby. You know I love to pull Kobe Bryant. We pull him a fair amount. And that is the Lakers with an established threads relic. Usually we pull him with ink. And that was just a relic, so yeah. Cody Martin and the Hornets. It is numbered to 10 for Charlotte. Jay Allen says that he would pull for North Korea over his rivals. <laughs> it depends on who they are, you know? I mean, some are definitely more intense than others. And for sure, some are more about the particular personnel than anything else. So it can vary with me. It can vary. Oh, Texas Tech, 70 to 57. Woo. So at least we're not the only ones that were number one and got drubbed pretty good. Happened to us. Happened to Duke. Happened to Louisville. <laughs> Seems to be the theme of the year, doesn't it? Of course, we only made it like a day. That is Anthony Davis for the Lakers, numbered to 199. The Nets and Kyrie Irving to 199. Base for the Nets and the Knicks. Is that the Knicks? Yeah. I forget Julius Randle's a Nick now. The Memphis Grizzlies and the Suns. Detroit Pistons and Andre Drummond established threads relic. For the Spurs, it's Keldon Johnson, numbered to 199, trio of relics and some ink. The Clippers, Mafwandu, Cabin Angle, or something like that, numbered to 10. Golden State Warriors, Willie Cauley Stein. Willie is numbered to 49. Oh, Jay Allen, you hit the Cody Martin to 10 the other night in a player break. Oh, well, cool. Stang Lover says Clippers, Pacers, and Heat. All right. Well, you just hit the one guy. But... Um, I know who you want to hit probably, right? You want to hit, um, Tyler Hero. Well, yeah, I see that you've typed that in there now, so yeah. <laughs> Indeed, my man Tyler Hero. Oh, that's great, Jay Allen. Yeah, some of those player breaks can be good. Um, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. There's not a lot of middle ground on player breaks often, but it also depends on the product. But sounds like you lucked into a good one. Number to 75, Jaw Morant for the Memphis Grizzlies, one of our two hot rookies tonight. Well, we hope we find the other one. Number to 99, there's the Greek Freak for the Bucks. I'm going to put that in the wrong sleeve, didn't I? I'll redo that. Put him in that thick one, and then that'll get all weird when I have to put it in a top loader. We have some base for the Cavaliers and the Nets. Some base for the Celtics and the Mavericks. We've got hits coming for Celtics with Larry Bird. Established Threads Relic. Quindary Weatherspoon Rookie Threads for the Spurs. The Blazers, another Nasir Little, hit one earlier. I don't remember if it was Autograph or Relic, but that is a nice hard-signed on-card autograph to 49. Here comes your Tyler Hero for the Miami Heat. Now Jay, Jay Allen's feeling happier. That is numbered to 175. And he's going, yeah, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Jay Allen. It is very much a kind of a boomer bust, as you say, with player breaks. There's not, not a ton of middle ground in them. 
but it also depends a lot on the product and how many cases of it are being opened. There's a lot of variables with that. I just, you know, I, I know one of the breakers who does that quite often, and I'm sure that's who you break with when you do those most of the time as well. But I just, oh my gosh, it is so much work to list <laughs> all of those players that are on the checklist. I mean, there's hundreds of them. It takes forever to list it. It takes hours to list it. And then I cannot even imagine sorting that. So he always does multiple cases at once. And like, who can blame him? Because who wants to do that repeatedly? Number to 25, you have Nick Claxton and the Nets. Carl Anthony Towns to 199 T-Wolves. We've got base for Celtics and Blazers. Base for Celtics and Hornets. And here's Isaiah Roby for the Dallas Mavericks. And that is a relic. Then we've got Brandon Clark and the Memphis Grizzlies. Trio of relics and autograph to 149. Here comes Rue, Rue Hachimura. And I love the way that that is like, see those black marks on there? That originally said, I think, like autograph. It originally said material and autograph are guaranteed by Panini. And then they didn't end up having them autographed. And they basically just took a black Sharpie or something and marked through that. I noticed that the first go-round of these. Isn't that weird? Anyway, ruse for the Washington Wizards. Tremont Waters and the Celtics. Hard-signed autograph for Boston. Zach, you said he, he would appreciate something besides a base card. All right, brother, I'm working on it. I'm trying to get that mojo going for you. And for you too, Jay Allen. Well, Stanglover, you, you make a good point there. When you are in player breaks, if you go after the hot player, in other words, if you go after Zion or Ja or somebody like that in this year's products for basketball, it would cost you an enormous sum of money in a player break. And those are the kind of guys that you know you're only going to find maybe once a case if you get lucky and find it once a case. There's our case at Redemption. We'll leave it face down, flip it at the end of the break. But if you want to go after some of the lower guys, um, you do have better odds of finding them multiple times and making it pay off more. But for the high-profile guys, it's extremely hard to come out ahead in those. To 199 the Knicks, for the reasons that you say, you know, just because of the vast sum it costs to procure them. So there we've got Mavericks and Nuggets, Lakers and Lakers for our base. P.J. Washington, Rookie Threads, Charlotte Hornets. And then we have rookie threads for the Spurs. It's exactly the same as the Hachimura where they've marked out in black where it says and would have said probably and autograph. <laughs> Didn't say it now because they marked it out. For the Knicks, here comes R.J. Barrett. That's a nice little hard signed autograph to 49 for the New York Knicks. Tremont Waters, Boston Celtics, trio of relics, numbered to 199. And then we have a base to 199 for the Magic with Vucevic. Zach says relics are, like, are pretty much like base cards. <laughs> we need to find you some autographs. All right, I'll try. Doing my best, doing my best. We will try. Yeah, you just never know who's in any given case, how it's going to flow. It seems like sometimes there'll be one team that just hits and hits and hits, and then other times it's a little more evenly distributed. To 199, the Nuggets. To 199, the Blazers with Lillard. 
base for the hornets and the bulls, base for the warriors, base for the hawks. I see a Zion in our future. But first we've got Bruno Fernando with another New Era hat relic. I don't know if he was on the first one. I'm just saying that's our second New Era hat relic. Numbered to 10, Bruno Fernando and the Hawks. Zion Williamson and the Pelicans. It is Rookie Threads. Unfortunately, no ink on that one, though. Romeo Langford, Boston Celtics. Langford is a nice hard-signed autograph, but is not numbered. Some veteran ink for the Knicks with Julius Randle. Of course, he's in his New Orleans uniform, but like we talked about earlier, you can't pay attention to that part. The part that matters is where it gives us the team name. That's the part that tells us where it's going to go. Stang lover, you don't think you've had even a Pacers base card? I don't know if you have or not. I hadn't even thought about paying attention to that part of it. You know me. I don't really focus on the base cards. I just kind of buzz through them. I was reading them off tonight because I know you said that sometimes if the, even if the video is acting funky that the audio is still flowing. So I'm trying to kind of um, be a little more diligent about at least reading off the teams of the base cards so that if somebody is having a little glitchy kind of thing with the video, that you would at least have the audio. To 99, the Nets, Nick Claxton. Then numbered to five for the Pacers. Look at that. Right about the time that you said you don't have any, we got you one to five. And this guy who's, oh, I hate saying this guy's name. But Odyssey, I don't think that's right. But anyway, it's number to five, and it is your Pacers. So, for whatever that's worth. Some base for the Blazers and the Celtics. Here's more base for the Cavs and the Sixers. And here comes a whole bunch of Pacers for Stang Lover. Like, right in a row. He got one to five. And then right behind it, he's going to get rookie threads for Bidazzi. However you say it. And then he's going to have another pacer sit over here for Miles Turner. And that one is relics as well. So three pacers right there together out of one little set. Hamadou Diallo, Oklahoma City Thunder, vet autograph number 49. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Memphis Grizzlies, Ja Morant. There you go, number to 199, making it happy. Oh, Ben, was that other Jumbo hat relic also Bruno Fernando? I couldn't remember if he was the player on the other one or not. Of course, we'll recap it. I just remembered that we had another Jumbo hat relic, so there you go. Jay Allen says, me next, me next. <laughs> Hi, man, I'm trying. I wish I had better control over that mojo, believe me. But sadly, it, it runs the show. All I can do is plead, plead with it. And hope it will bring us more. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Another one of one. And that's our second one of one base card. This one's the Grizzlies, uh, Villa Kunis. Unfortunately, you know, too bad like that's not jaw, right? I would like that. And then numbered to 199, there's Trey Young and the Hawks. We've got base for the Magic, the Suns, the Bulls, and the Pelicans. Here comes more Pacers for Stang Lover. Sabonis with some veteran relics golden state warriors and draymond green and that is numbered does that say the 18 yeah it does number to 18 for draymond the magic and mr chuma okiki numbered to 149 the knicks with 
All right, this guy. Now I've got Braz Brazoskis, Brazikis. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's number to forty-nine. Bitsod Bitsodskis. I I really can't say his name. Jay Allen says it's looking grim. He's not feeling good about it. Well, we are coming up into last box mojo. Technically, we've got too many boxes, but that is representative of one master box. So we're going to go ahead and call it last box mojo, even though it's kind of two, two little boxes. And, of course, this is the point where we kind of collectively focus our mojo and hope that we can hit something awesome. Number to 75, that's Romeo Langford and the Boston Celtics. For the Miami Heat to 75, you've got Jimmy Butler. Base for the Golden State Warriors and the Golden State Warriors. Base for the Suns, base for the Mavericks. That was Luca on that base, by the by. Chicago Bulls, Thaddeus Young. Established Threads Relic. Rookie Threads for the Suns. Cameron Johnson, another one where the and autograph part is marked out. Always nice. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Brandon Clark and the Memphis Grizzlies. Hard signed autograph unnumbered. And the last one we see live. Oh, it's a good one. Washington Wizards and Rue Hachimura. Numbered to 199 trio relics and autograph. Now we've got our case hit, our glass card to flip over, which we're going to do here in one hot second. Uh, once we do that, we'll go to the Panini website and check it out. After we do that, we're going to recap uh, our autographs, our relics, and our cards that were numbered to five and lower. Well, look at that. It's LeBron James for our glass card. So one would assume that's going to be the Lakers on the other side of that one would certainly imagine that that's where they would have him in here but we're going to go over here and just make sure because you know what that's how we are that's how we roll we check it out so we just need to find the glass card he is card number one can't get any easier than that he is indeed a laker those of course are not numbered if it had been numbered you would have seen over here in the sequence uh would have had what the numbering is but there isn't any, so all we needed to see was Lakers to know that we are good to go with our glass card. All right, time to recap it. The case hit heads to the Lakers with LeBron James, the glass insert. We have a couple of things that are low numbered, three actually. So one of one for the Grizzlies with Villa Kunis. This is the Pacers numbered to five with Bidazzi and a one of one for the Portland Trail Blazers, CJ McCullum. We do have plenty of other numbered things, but we're only going to recap those lower numbered ones, not the higher numbered ones. All right, you've got the Washington Wizards followed by the Chicago Bulls. Golden State Warriors. And there's that uh, nice little jaw Morant for the Memphis Grizzlies. The Pacers. And Julius Randle for the Knicks. The Celtics with Romeo Langford. There comes Bruno Fernando and the Atlanta Hawks. The Celtics with Tremont Waters. Hard signed autograph for Brandon Clark and the Grizzlies. A relic for the Phoenix Suns. And you've got um, an autograph for the Knicks. An autograph for the Magic with Okiki. Relic for the Pacers. Ink for the Thunder with Hamadou Diallo. Relic for the Pacers. And a Zion Williamson relic for the Pelicans. The San Antonio Spurs have a relic. The Hornets with a relic. A Tremont Waters hard signed autograph for the Celtics. Brandon Clark in the Grizzlies. Tyler Hero in the Miami Heat. A relic for the Spurs. 
a Larry Bird relic for the Celtics. Willie Cauley Stein and the Warriors. A relic for the Clippers. Relic and ink for the Spurs with Keldon Johnson. Rookie relic for the Pistons. I mean, not rookie relic. That was a veteran relic. Sorry. That wasn't rookie relic if I said that. That was Andre Drummond, so definitely not a rookie. R.J. Barrett, hard signed autograph, Knicks. Rookie threads for the Wizards. Rookie threads for the Mavericks. The Portland Trailblazers, hard signed, Nasir Little. Cody Martin and the Charlotte Hornets, relic for the Lakers. Then for the Celtics, a Romeo Langford, relic autograph pairing. Karis Levert for the Nets. The Denver Nuggets, David Thompson, Inc. There's our other jumbo hat relic to 10, Bruno Fernando. So out of the 10, we just hit two of them tonight. So if you have, if you have the Hawks, guess what? You own 20% of all those cards. <laughs> Belong to you. You control the market. Portland Trailblazers and the Sear Little and Cody Martin and the Hornets. So there you go. That is the break. That is the recap. I will one more time put up shipping information. Then we'll take one more look at what's coming up in the days ahead for those who are interested in knowing that little bit of information. All right. So um, both of these breaks tonight were paid. Shipping breaks should be on the way to you approximately Saturday. If I can get them sent out to you sooner than that, I will gladly do so. Uh, if something unexpected happens, could slide a day later, which in that case would be Monday since there's no mail service on Sunday. If you got skunked in either break tonight, by skunked I mean you did not hit a card of any sort, base or otherwise, you will still get a package in the mail with consolation card or cards in it since it is a paid shipping break. What is coming up in the days ahead? Tomorrow night is an off night. Thursday night, a half case of Bowman Draft Jumbo Baseball. It will be the start of a new case. On Friday night, we're going to open Don Russ Basketball, which is a new release for Friday. But we're only going to open four boxes of it, which is a third of a case. That is still going to have about 1,200 cards in it, but I am going to ship all the cards from it. So, yeah. And those are loose boxes from a shared case. On Saturday, Leaf Autograph Football Jersey by the Half Case Playbook Football Inner Case on Saturday. And on Sunday, it is an off night again. So there you go. And uh, what else? What else? Um, oh, we're starting on Friday night, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, since it is Don Russ' um, new release night. All right. So there we go, kids. That is it for me tonight. As always, I thank you for being here. I appreciate it very much. I hope that you have... A great rest of your week. I'm off tomorrow night, so I'll be back at it Thursday night. If I don't see you then, I hope I will see you again sometime soon. I always like to have the company. All right, take care. We'll see you the next time. Bye now.